<sighs> Hello guys. Um yeah, today I just uh did a delivery of brick into this new home subdivision and somehow I got the trains in here, but down that path and around the corner is a dead end and back behind me is a super tight turn that um I could barely get in pulling forward, let alone backing out. So I'm thinking my option looks like uh, doing a loop around this area, which is actually very convenient. Um, but this turn up here is incredibly tight. So um, worst case scenario, I'm splitting the trains and pulling them out one at a time. But I'm going to try a new technique with the uh, lift axles. So the lead lift axle on the lead trailer is basically halfway in the trailer. And if I put that down, then it'll actually swing the trailer out and should bring the pup around a lot tighter. Um, and then there's a second lift axle on the pup that's slightly ahead of the rearmost two axles and if I drop that which is actually what I had to do to get around the corner that this van is about to drive around um, if I drop that down then it should lift up the rear um, axles and let them drag around the corner slightly tighter um, also you'll see in a bit there's a loader at the corner that's stuck in the mud and normally I'd be able to kind of hop around the corner and make it, but uh, not with the loader there. So, let's give her a shot. You'll also notice I still have that shake in the engine. It sounds like a misfire and it's only at very low input RPMs. Like as soon as I'm going down the road or pulling something, it's fine, but it's basically idle and high idle that it's uh, giving a shake. See, it's doing okay, but then it starts shaking. Eh, it's doing all right now. So maybe it's a temperature thing. Anyways, that's not uh, what we're dealing with right now. Uh, I mean, ideally the whole truck and trailer would be on this side of the road to begin with to make this corner. Jeez, that's going to be tight. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I might actually uh, line this up. so that the trailers are on this curb. Whew. Yeah, see, uh, there's no way I could fit anything through there if it weren't a dead end. And the funny thing is, I saw a 53-footer equipment trailer, like a uh, almost a low boy and he was exiting the place just before I pulled in so I mean they're uh, they're making trucks do some pretty crazy things I feel kind of lucky that I do have the option to split the trains if needed um, to get out of a place all right you know what that's about as good as it's gonna get all right. Now there's nothing on the ground around that pole, right? So we're gonna try to go as wide as possible. Up to and including, wow, I'm probably gonna have to jackknife the tractor alone in this part right here. Holy crap, this is gonna be tight. <laughs> okay. Almost 
not quite a jackknife yet. Uh, I'm also thinking if I don't jackknife um, the pup itself, or if I don't jackknife the truck and the lead, I'm probably gonna jackknife the lead and the pup, so I'm probably gonna have to drop this regardless. But let's put down the lift axles and see how much damage we can do. See, look, that one little axle at the back is air pressure. It's not a leveling type one. It's uh, you put in a specific amount of air in the bag and it lifts up the other two axles. So those are gonna drag and the lead axle is going to kick the tri-axle around a lot. Except I have no traction now. <laughs> Put the axle locks on. All right, let's see what happens. Kick her around. Oh, yeah. Oh. Whoop. It's not good for the equipment necessarily. But holy crap, I think it actually worked. <laughs> I was just gonna clear that one piece of wood that I see just in case there's a set of nails in it or something. Ah. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that is deep. Because I don't need any more nail pops in my tires. I'll bring these in because I'm going to forget them otherwise. Alright. Let's give her a shot again. believe how well that worked. See now without doing that I'm worried that the pup might actually come in and hit those little white sewage drainage poles or whatever they are. It's gonna be pretty close. I'm over the curb, but I'm, I made it. Nice. All right. See, I don't necessarily need the axle lock on right now, but I'm gonna try the same thing around this corner because that guy the rear end is kicking out just in the corner and it's super tight. So let's try this again. Drop it. I'm also worried about nails in that muck. I could clear the skids around. Oh, oh. Yeah, she's through. <laughs> this is great. Might even have to do it around this corner too because of this pickup truck. Let's uh, pop this curve without popping the tire. Oh, you are 
are not gonna wanna be here right now. All right, we're clear of the pickup truck, so we might actually make this work just as a regular old B train, but now this car is exactly in the way and she has no idea. But maybe we can make, eh, we'll get her to move. painless than I thought it was going to be.